All right, how's it going everybody? I hope you're doing well. Today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing Club de Nuit by Armoff. This is the original Club de Nuit, which is actually a clone of uh, Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel. Uh, so if you're looking for a good gift for her, this might be a good option because it's only 22 bucks instead of the expensive Coco, the expensive Chanel price. So. We'll see what it's like. Um, this came out, I'm not sure, I think somewhere around 2018, um, and it scores pretty well on Fragrantica with a 4.13. Um, so the notes of this one are top notes of orange, bergamot, grapefruit, and peach. Middle notes of rose, jasmine, geranium, and lychee, ooh. And then base notes are patchouli, vanilla, musk, and vetiver. So a nice, well-rounded fragrance, it sounds like. Um, so I have the, yeah, I have the OG right here uh, that we can kind of test against. Let's give it a try. So. Here's the box. Nothing too crazy. Nice little sticker. It has that cheesy bedazzle on it. I, I don't really like that, but that's fine. It says Club de Nuit, a uh, little sticker on it, and then kind of an iridescent Armoff sticker on the back. Okay, so this is a uh, 100 milliliters, I believe, uh, and I picked it up for around 22 bucks uh, on FragranceNet, of course. So inside it says original arm off, original arm off. So nice container actually. And then here it comes with a little card. Ooh, advertising for Club de Nuit Intense Man. We all know that one, you guys. Club de Nuit Siage, um, Club de Nuit Milestone, and then Club de Nuit Mil Woman. So that's kind of their. Uh, their series as of when they released this one probably. So you open it up and then here's the bottle inside. Very nice, very similar to the Club de Nuit Intense Man one, right? They've got this uh, weird little medallion on there with a little bedazzling and then some cheesy bedazzling on the, uh, the lid uh, or the cap, I mean. So don't really like the presentation. It's got sort of a peachy colored juice to it uh, with a clear bottle. Nice weight to it though, I will say. There is a nice weight to it. And then the cap is metal uh, with a, uh, yeah, nice weight to the, the cap as well. Nice uh, gold color. The, uh, the atomizer and the cap, the atomizer collar are both metal, which is nice. Although I will say with this series, you gotta watch out guys, um, because there are leaking problems that it's pretty much this model of, uh, of atomizer and collar are known for. So just watch out for any sort of leaking on this one and any of the other series of this uh, Club de Nuit type uh, presentation, okay? So decent presentation, not my favorite, probably seven out of 10, okay? Let's get to the atomizer performance and we'll see how it, uh, how it sprays. Ooh, good atomizer, very nice atomizer. Like that. Okay, and right off the bat, it has a decent performance, decent projection. Let's see the original. Okay, so here's the real one. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Very similar, but there's a richer, and I could tell immediately. I could tell immediately. It's richer, it's more full, it has more vanilla in it. This one is, it gets in that same vein. I would say maybe 85 to 90% similar. Yeah, probably around 90% similar. But it seems just a little more airy, a little weaker, a little less umph to it. This one has that kick, that patchouli in the base, that some vanilla, some nice vanilla in there. Some heaviness, some heftiness to it. Uh, that some people don't like in fragrances, but sometimes I like that. It gives it a richness and a fullness to it. I know a, uh, I'm not a big fan personally of um, a lot of the Parfums de Marly. I actually dislike them and I think that they're really overrated, but they do have a nice thickness to them. When you smell them, they're very, it's like whole milk, right? It's like smelling a whole milk, sort of a, just a full, well-rounded, thick fragrance. Um, and usually when I make a fragrance, that means I've used too many naturals and I haven't used enough synthetics because I do like mine to be a little bit on the lighter side, a little bit uh, more airy and crisp and, and fresh and straightforward. But sometimes you do want it, on a, uh, especially on a, a fragrance like this for women. I gotta say, I like the original better, but I will say this one is very close. 90% 
It just doesn't have that heft to it. So maybe a uh, 8.5 out of 10, and then this one, oh my goodness. Coco, Coco Mademoiselle is such an amazing piece of art. I mean, it's it's done so well. I, I, I you know, it's one of the Polges obviously made it because it is Chanel, but it's so masterfully done. Uh, this is, is like a 9.5 out of 10. Amazing women's fragrance. It's addicting. It's, it's very sexy. So if you're trying to get one of those and you're not trying to ball out, and you still want a great fragrance, but it's just a little lighter, I would recommend checking it out. Probably 8.5 out of 10. Solid fragrance from Marmoff. I think they did a great job. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. It really helps the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.